Alright, welcome back guys, my name is D, and today we're going to go over a couple of ninja builds for Ragnarok Online. We have two free today, and for ninja classes, there's only two types basically. So there's a magic type, and there's a throwing type ninja. So for the first one, uh, let's load the magic type. So with this build, of course, you're going to have maximize int dex. Um, with this build, you're probably going to be stuck on 9 luck if you don't, if your server doesn't have skill reset. But if you can, just move the 9 int over to Vit if you, your server does offer stat resets. So, this pretty much, uh, with this build, you can utilize um, Freezing Spear. You can use like a level 3 uh, Freezing Spear, or if you want to use level 1. And then you can combo into uh, Exploding Dragon. So make sure you, you utilize the elements. Um, but generally, what I like to do is just spam Freezing Spear since they're gonna be hit lock most of the time. And if you know that they're gonna die with Explosive with the Exploding Dragon, just hit them with that. Alright, so for the gear, pretty much you wanna go the Ashura. This is mainly the only int dagger that you can actually get as far as I know. Ashura actually gives you plus 10 magic attack, which is pretty good, and it has three slots. You can just put two uh three drops cards in it and gives you plus three decks. And of course you wanna go um Dex gear, AOA, Robo Eye, and two Zerum gloves. This brings you to 130 Dex. So your cast speeds will be pretty fast with Blessing. Alright, so for that, this is really good for PVM, um, PVP sometimes, especially if there's no stun, there's no stunner, but yeah, I don't, I really wouldn't recommend this build for wool unless you can find a way to like balance the vit with the dex or have like uh, stun immunity so let's go over to your next one uh, this is mm, pretty much my favorite build for ninja uh, this is the killing stroke ninja and basically how killing stroke works is you activate ninja aura and then you activate depending on what server you're playing because before you, you just had to activate Ninja Aura and then cast Killing Stroke. On, on updated servers, you're going to have to cast Ninja Aura and then Mirror Image. And depending on how many images you have left, will be the amount of hits uh, the, the opponent takes. So just check your server which, um, which killing stroke up applies but the damage output will be pretty much from your strength and your vit so this build you're gonna max out strength of course and then vit and you're gonna have to go with luck as far as i know you can reset that if you, if your server has that resets put it on dex just for like added hit for shadow slash and other skills that require hit. For killing stroke, um, hit is um, disregarded, so you're always gonna hit unless you, uh, unless they numa you, because killing stroke is basically a range attack. So with this build, um, I had a pretty, um, I had a fun time with this build in PvP back in PRO days. Uh, the weapon I would recommend is getting a, a main gosh up to plus 10 just for maximized damage put two hydro cards and two scale worker cards in it and of course you want to go for more damage if you can get percent uh like percent increasing uh demi human percent increasing gear i'd recommend that uh, you can get like an alice doll archangeling archangeling basically gives you 300 maximum hp which is the main source of the damage because it's gonna take your maximum HP for damage plus your attack. And Masquerade gives you uh, more demi human increase in damage. And Gangster Mask just for additional attack. Uh, for the for the armor, you wanna go Glorious Suit if you have it. 
or peco peco card armor works well too for the garment uh i generally like to use frildora if you guys don't know what Flid frildora does it basically gives you a cloak one ability cloak one is basically um you have to cloak near the edges of obstacles if you move away from it you get decloaked so the good thing about this is you can actually uh, cast killing stroke while in cloak and uh, pretty much a surprise attack so for foot gear you just want to go green ferris it's just a plus one vit 10 percent increase in maximum hp so that's good finish off with a ring mantis uh, Mantis ring and a smoke eclipse. This is pretty important important because you're gonna utilize this to hide and then uh, I believe it's shadow slash. It's one of the ninja skills where you can actually blink towards the enemy hit them for some damage with also a possibility to crit I believe as far as I remember. But yeah, that's pretty much the build. Um, I wish I recorded uh, uh, ninja videos back then. I have a lot of highlights with this build, but yeah. And if you actually have Taogunka armor on this build, oh my god, the damage is so huge. But yeah, you can only dream. <laughs> Alright, so those are the two builds guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and what other guides you want on this channel. Um, I'll be rolling out a couple of skill builds in the next few weeks on Transcendence, so watch out for that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, like, subscribe, see you guys in the next one. Bye.